Do you want to stand you up, guys? All right, guys, two seconds. Right, I doubt any of you that are on. But I thought I'd just go live and doing this. Trying to like make a stand, stand you again, something without putting my tripod up because I really can't be bothered to go and put my tripod up. <sighs> but I think I'm gonna have to put my tripod up unless I can kind of sit you in there, kind of thing. There you go, guys, kind of got you on the tripod. Um, I'm just thought I'd come on, see if anybody's on um, while I'm doing this. You can see I'm labeling up for a new one, Hi, Rebecca. I'm rolling up for a new one, keep on proper stuff. I'm going to the car boot tomorrow to find some more prizes as well. <coughs> um, yeah, just labeling up to try and keep on top of it. And the six of you on, bloody hell. Yeah, I just thought I'd pop on while I was doing this. Um, we just moved this box guys. Oh. That's one box done. Right guys, I'm kinda back. Right. Hey Han, sent my money over, did you get it? Okay. As far as I'm aware, hun, yes, um, I've not really looked, to be honest with you. I've been busy doing other bits and pieces. I just thought while I was sat nice and quietly, I could maybe up some prizes maybe for the next one. I've still got... to send off for the other one um heather i don't know if you're on but heather's got two prizes uh, two not two prizes two boxes to go to her i forgot your birthday card but you've got two boxes coming to you heather um there is i'm trying to think who how many have just picked up they should have picked up on monday uh, they should have picked up on they should pick up on monday but they had a parcel for my mum so they dropped it here and they i said oh, i've just booked in some for collection on monday do you want to pick up at the same time so they did um so heather has got two going out one of which is your birthday present unfortunately i forgot your bloody card don't ask me um, yeah, don't ask me if you got your card, but there's a parcel, two parcels coming to you. Katerina, there's a parcel coming to you. Jade's has just gone. Did I forget the bead work stuff you wanted, Jade? So that's going to have to go in the other box for your next lot. Um... Who else is just gone? Nicholas is just gone. Um, uh, Nicholas is just gone. Katarina's. Jade's. Um, Christina has gone. For six, there was one for Jade, one for Katerina, two for Heather, that's four. Christina's was five. Christina's was five. And I can't remember the sixth one. My brain is not functioning. I've been doing stuff all day, guys. We've cut the grass. Um, trim down our rose bush 
Um, that went to the tip and dumped the grass. Um, yes, yeah, so I just thought while I'm waiting for the takeaway to turn up, I would come up here and just start labelling up stuff for the next trombola, as this is the stuff that takes time. As long as it doesn't rain, we are going to pick our boot tomorrow. So I'll be looking out for stuff for prizes there. Um, so if there's anything in particular you guys are looking out for, let me know. I still have unpaids on the old raffle, the old crumbola. Uh, some people have organised with me when they are paying, like when they get paid and stuff. Other people have not heard from, so um, like Audrey, who's co with the boot, Cole, Jude, I need to know what you think of your prizes. I need you to pay and I need to sort out um, a postage with myself because obviously I'm asking for a donation of postage so I need to get that sorted um, I've also got to draw the winner of the bigger gift set for anybody who bought over um, a hundred tickets who bought a hundred tickets um, so I've got to draw that one um, yeah, there's still a few bits to do from the old one like I said there's the parcels that haven't gone via Hermes that come from um, the post office I will do next week um, yeah nothing major exciting guys I've just got to get it behind it I thought by doing this kind of stuff now um, it just um, makes it easier on myself because it's the stuff like this that takes time that it just takes forever it really does so if I can do it now guys and kind of as I get new prizes keep it up to date um do it um I don't know whether this is going to be a 2,000 ticket trombola or a 1,000 ticket. I haven't really worked that one out yet. Um, yeah, not really worked that one out yet, guys. I kind of go how it is. So, but we are currently up to 400 tickets. I've currently got prizes. Like I said, just labelling up them now. I have a massive box underneath. I've got a box here rested on the a box rested on top of a massive box, and the massive box is full of um full of stuff that's got to be labelled yet. I've just been building and building. Oh, T-shirts falling off. Um, so it's cutting the grass earlier on, my back's been in pain, so I thought by sitting down it would give me a break and I could chat to you guys. Um, I haven't actually gone and donated it yet, hun. I haven't been to town. I went with mum. On Thursday we had to go and deliver some stuff that people had bought or wanted delivered so we popped into home bargains picked up a couple of bits and we went to poundland as well um and that was pretty much that we didn't do anything else that day um so i haven't got around to doing that bit hun wasn't planning on going back to to home bargains yesterday but ended up going back because people had seen stuff in my haul that they really wanted so i ended up going back and getting stuff for them 
I know I didn't have it in the home bargains I went into originally anymore, so I ended up going to another one on the corner. Um, I did find a couple of bits that they wanted, but I didn't find everything. And then um, I showed something extra that popped up in that second home bargains, and then people wanted that, so I ended up going back again today, which I wasn't planning on to. Um, I was planning on staying at home today and <sighs> catching up with bits and pieces for housework and all the boring crap that needs to be done. Uh, instead, I ended up, Matt went to the dentist, then he came home and <coughs> looked after Lizzie. And then Mum went back out to Home Bargains for the third day then to go and get stuff that people had asked me to try and get for them if I could as their home bargains didn't have it and then we came home and we cut the grass because it needed doing and mum picked some apples from our apple tree and we haven't really done a lot else because my back's been in a lot of pain. Like I say, we're hoping to go to the car boot tomorrow as long as the weather stays nice. Um, so yeah, and now my tape's just run out, which is always helpful. I don't know where the other tape is. And I just wanted to get on and do this, and now I don't know where the other tape is. Which is really annoying guys really really annoying i might have to take you into the other room can you this light and this crap um yeah i don't know where the other tape is i sound off i am i'm really out of it today guys so i've got two more different chairs to do um yeah gonna bring you with me guys to try and find the other tape if I can find it I don't know where it's to some stuff might have to be stuck on using unicorn tape because I don't know where the other tape's to and I kept it bothered to go down upstairs and hunt for it down there so I'm hoping I've got some in here so that yeah Libby's room just yeah yeah, we were getting there and then all hell broke loose and yeah. That's all I can say guys, yeah. Um Yeah. What are you guys up to today? Up to anything fun or good? Anything you're looking forward to? Um let me know guys. I'd come on and see if you guys wanted to keep me company while I was doing the boring stuff that is labelling up prizes and I have duct tape <laughs> and I have pretty tape. Oh, I have I have fragile tape. I'm sure we had more tape up here than that. Um I wonder where that tape is that I was using the other day. I wonder where that's gone. I'm not using that tape. Oh, guys, I had tape here the other day. I was using it and now it's disappeared by the looks of it. Which is always helpful when you need tape. Just me guys or do any of you guys get this kind of thing where the same thing has been in the same place for ages and then you start to use it and then it disappears off the face of the earth and you can't find it and you don't know where it's to so you look for it for about 10 seconds and then you give up. Anyone have that? Um, next trombola will be as soon as this one's all sorted um like i say i've got parcels 
still waiting for people to tell you also waiting to for people to tell me if they like the presents or the the prizes. Um changing that got a plug of them if you can see it. Yeah, I've got people I got let's start again. I've got parcels. Is it really dark guys? Please tell me if it's really dark. Um, is it really dark? Right, okay. I don't know why it's really dark. I think it's just generally the phone doesn't like focusing. If I'm going to come forward like that, it's really light. I'll try and sit forward a bit more. I know, guys. Um, yeah, what was I saying? I don't know. I've lost the plot. Um, <coughs> right, that's enough. They're done. Guys, okay, I'm just gonna move again, guys, because I'm just gonna put this second box in the place where I store them. Which is the hole behind my bedroom door, guys, if you're ever wondering. Not that you probably do, not that you care where I store it, but yeah, that's where it's that's where it's being stored, guys, is behind my bedroom door. So I'm going to try and sit kind of more in the way so that it shouldn't keep coming and going. Um, just get rid of that one. A second, I'm not trying to get some space, guys. Hold everything on the bed, guys. I'm gonna try to sit a bit more forward so that hopefully it won't come and go. Right, um, what was I saying, guys? I've lost the plot, I really can't remember. Um, I don't know why my phone is going in and out of light. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to keep up to date with this so it's not a big thing. What are you guys up to? Is there anything good? Got any nice plans for tomorrow? Um, me and mum are going to the car boot sale if it's good weather. Um, hey. <laughs> anything you guys would like me to look out for for trombolic prices? Um, also, I'm doing a separate one for the squiggle fish. Um, there are some bit random things, I guess you'd call it. Um, this one, there's a lot of kind of small stuff and big stuff. We are currently on 500 tickets, guys. So I'll just put in there. Um, yeah. That was just, that tape just ran out and I was bringing it in. It's always helpful. Matt's downstairs with Libby, if anyone wants to know. We have just ordered takeaway. Um, not that anyone will want to know that, but yeah. We have just ordered takeaway. Not for, I don't have any tickets for this trombola left. Um, the one I'm doing now is going to be a new one. Um, I'm just literally laying stuff up now to get ahead of it because it's stuff like this that really takes the time and I figure if I can kind of get ahead of myself and I have things pre-labeled so like these tickets pre-done onto things it will save me time um, the other thing that takes time is the folding of the, the folding of the tickets Please excuse my chub, man. I, oh, I've just knocked the bloody, just knocked the bloody bath crap across the floor. I'm gonna try and put you there. There you go. Right, you're a bit more in front of me now, guys. Um, that just didn't really work, did it? I've got my phone charging at the same time, guys. 
so yeah what was I saying guys I don't know I've lost the plot right what was I saying guys um yeah I'm just trying to get ahead of it and pre label things this tape is really really sticky but I can't bother to go downstairs and find ever tape so this tape is what I've got so yeah guys I am just pre-labeling stuff so it saves me time um because it does take up a lot of time I'm not gonna lie um <laughs> Because I want to. It takes a hell of a load of time to sort out the prizes, put tags on the prizes, sort them all out into bags so it's easier to find. Um, yeah, guys, it takes a long time, and I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, I have sometimes been up where you guys have seen on the vlogs. I have been up till the wee hours of the morning, um, labelling prizes, folding the um, folding the tickets. You know, I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's very time consuming. It takes up a lot of space, and I'm just trying. To keep on top of it and do anything that I can that will save myself time in the future so I just thought by doing this now oh, this is so sticky it would save me doing it at a later date and taking even longer basically guys um, so yeah I just thought I'd come on and look at can you see how sticky this stuff is um, yeah like I say what, what are you guys up to let's get back to what I was saying what are you guys up to had a weekend had a good weekend so far got any nice plans we should go downstairs and get that other tape because this is I'm going to shout down the stairs a second, guys. I think it would be the option. Oh, just stop that. Babe? 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 Yeah? In the sitting room on the fireplace is the thin rolls of sellotape. Can you just chuck some up for me, please? room on the fireplace yeah. is some thin rolls of sellotape. Can you chuck some up for me please? Yeah. yeah. On the fireplace you'll see like three or four rolls of it. Back with you in a second, guys. I'm just getting Matt to chuck some sour tape up for me. Can you chuck it up? Oh, you got it, have you? <gasps> Hi! I'm just going to pin the thingy comes, let me know. Okay, what are you guys doing downstairs? You're going to play in there for a bit. Okay, I'm doing a live stream. Do you want to say hello? Do you want to say hello? Do you want to say hello to everyone? Because I'm doing a live stream. No, you're okay. You don't want to say hello. That's mean. Libby! Do you want to say hello to everyone? She 
doesn't want to say hello either. She wants to go and play in her bedroom. Anyway. She's playing with her dollhouse again. She loves that thing, doesn't she? There you go. <laughs> they don't want to say hi, Sarah. They're being unsociable. Huh? She's found the, the toy again, has she? She's found the toy again, has she? There you go. She's found the... Uh, Oh. I've got tape attacking me now, guys. Um, she's found the uh, air purifier. We call that her toy. She likes to turn on and let it blow in her face, basically. Um, so, yeah. I'm back sticking numbers. Two prizes. So what was I saying before? I had to go and do that. Oh. Don't know if you can see this guys. This big box full to the brim of things and then there's stuff behind you that you guys are lent upon or my phone is lent upon to um, do a live stream. But Things are piled in. So each one of these books holds a thousand tickets. We are currently on 500 items that have got tickets on them. So, yeah. It's so maybe a 2,000 ticket one again I might just do a 1000 we will see what it's like but I'm labeling it up I'm putting it into a box to make it easy for me to store and then we will work it out from there there is stationery in this one there is candles of people asking for candles. There's wax melts. There's a little bit of makeup, not a lot. Um, please excuse my flap and everything today. Um, I cut the grass earlier on, got covered in grass cuttings. So have a shower because I ain't going out and um, the only thing that's going around is a takeaway so I don't need to go out, I don't need to be dressed up for anybody so I thought why not any of you guys do that when I have housework days I don't get dressed. I'll put on clean PJs, but if I'm having a housework day, I don't see the point in getting dressed, especially when you're dealing with bleach and stuff that could wreck your clothes. Um, people probably call me lazy for doing that, but I really don't care. It's my way of, I suppose you'd say dealing with stuff I just don't see the point thank you Sarah I'm glad you agree I don't see the point if you're at home and all you're doing is like cleaning you're probably going to get filthy anyway and um, anyone with a kid knows you get food on you you get spit slobber you get anything and everything over you and there is no point in dressing up really neat and nice and tight
tidy just to stay at home and get covered in crap basically because the kids are gonna put it all over you so call me lazy call me whatever you want today we've been out I've done what I needed to do I was dressed for that I don't need to go out anymore I only get dressed if I'm going out which is literally once a week shopping I don't see the point either hun there's no point by the time you've got your top, your trousers, your bra, your socks. It's about eight, nine items to wash extra. And usually you wear jumper or coat or something as well. So when you're in PJs, if you get something on your PJ top, sod it. If you think like me, I know this is going to sound disgusting and people can complain at me for it. I really don't care. Um, when I'm at home, I'm in PJs. If Libby puts her skanky hands all over me, I really don't care. I tend to, unless it's absolutely filthy, I will stay in that pajama top until I go to bed and then I will put a clean one on. Because I know that if I change that top, she would just come over and get it filthy all over again. So I figure. What's the point in giving myself more washing to do when it's only me and her here and she's only going to make me dirty again. So I just will stay in a bit of a dirty top for a little bit longer, put a clean one on to go to bed and yeah, save myself washing. I think any mums do that, anything that they can salvage and use another day they will us mums come up with huh. us mums come up with brilliant hacks to uh, save ourselves that little bit extra work and I think as a mum you have to because nobody else is going to come and do it for you you do have to look after the kids and housework and everything and you may have a partner to help you, you may not. I'm just going to move this box across now because that one's done. getting there guys my pile is uh, going down the pile of prizes is going down I'm trying not to get stuck in any way shape or form when my curry turns up I will be going I just want to pop on see who's on have a little chat. What people got organised for tomorrow? That's what are you guys doing tomorrow? So you've got a permit in. Me and Mum are going to the booty to see what we can find for prizes. <laughs> You're waiting for Chinese. I don't like Chinese so much. I end up having um, sweet and sour chicken balls all the time with sweet and sour sauce. That tends to be my, my go-to meal. But tonight we are having curry. So I am having a really nice chicken korma with I bought some garlic naans today because they keep burning our bloody naans. So, I've got chicken korma 
And I got Violet Nans that I bought today. And Papa Doms. And even Libby likes it, which is good because she's not been eating much lately. So whatever she eats is all good. So, um, wait, we'll get some more BB Girl hamster. What's, what is occurred in? If anyone's wondering, Nanu is around somewhere. Um, ugh, mango chutney, no. I don't do mango chutney. Proper doms, yes. And the place we go does amazing. Chicken kormas. So, I can't wait. I love chicken kormas from there. My Diego is sick, he's got an infection. Diego's your lizard. Lizzie. Is he a lizard type thing? What is he? Not a gecko. Bearded dragon. Lizard. Squirrel. Okay. How many animals have you got this one? Hun. Squirrel? Or was he named after Diego? Is it Diego on the um? Is it Diego on? Babe, yeah. what's the squirrel called on um? Ice Age. Isn't it Scrat? Something like that. Isn't it? Which one's Diego? That's a saber tooth thingamajigger, isn't it? Am I right? Yeah. The saber tooth thing. Yeah. Is that why he's named Diego? After the the saber tooth thingamajigger? That sounds really bad. Saber tooth thing. Saber tooth is tiger, is he? On um, Ice Age. Is is that his name Diego? Or was it just a name you like? I'm being nosy. I have four. Diego's Chip and Dale. Oh. Um. Diego's, they're like a, it's like the gerbil-y type thing, it's like a gerbil kind of thing, Diego, I thought that was his name, I thought that was his name, brain's not, Chinchilla rats. Oh, chinchillas. Love chinchillas. My brother used to keep chinchillas. It wasn't long ago my brother's chinchilla died. Um, he dad Pip. Well, he's my stepbrother, so obviously he came into my life when I was... I want to say like 15, 16. And... Yeah, back then he had... He had Pip and Spud, Spudly, and uh, oh my god, it wasn't that long ago. The Pip burst, his chinchilla, and she was such a little character. He used to breed rats, but he's having to stop that now. He used to breed mice, but he's having to stop that now. And he now breeds snakes. He went through the stage of fish. And now he's got um what has my brother got now? Two cats and a tree frog and um geckos. Um, I can't remember all the things that 
Yeah. His real name's Paul, not Buster, by the way. His real name's Paul. But we've always called him Buster. Um, yeah, he's got two cats. He's got geckos. He's got tree frog. He's got tarantulas. He's got crap loads of snakes. I can't even remember how many snakes he's got. He's got rats. He's got mice. Um, his fish not that long ago passed away. Um, he breeds snakes. Um, he goes round to different shows and schools and stuff to teach people about animals. Um, yeah, he's got health problems so he doesn't work. But that's what he does to help out. Sounds like Libby's having a wander. She decided playing her room is a bit boring. So she's probably going to come in here and cause havoc now. And that one's actually broken. So I've got to fix that. She's playing with the uh, dehumidifier. And hundreds in the tickets guys if anyone's interested so this is a really crappy live stream just thought I'd come on and see what's on uh, anything that you guys want me to look out for at the uh, the booty tomorrow yeah, Mom, I'm quite looking forward to it because the last time I went I found a lot of good things um, Libby didn't really want to be there Matt ended up taking her back and sitting in the car. You alright baby girl? Oh, hello baby girl! I thought I was sat up here. Yeah. I just will um, label up. These ready for the next trombola. You've been playing in your bedroom baby girl? Oh. Yeah? Uh. You've been playing with Happy Land? Happy Land and Doll's House and another toy. Happy Land, Doll's House and another toy? The oh, the fan. Yeah. The dehumidifier. Yeah, that's it. She's been playing with that, has she? Yeah. She'll probably have some, um, Poppadom. I've ordered one for her. And some of our Dip Dip Curry. I've got, um, I bought naan breads today. So, yeah, anything you guys want to look out for booty tomorrow that you'd like to see for prizes? Or, what we don't really need to look out for? Just let me know. And I'll look out for it for you. Anything you particularly like to see as prizes. I'm going to be doing a few candles are always a good one. Yeah, I've got candles in this one. I've got wax melts already. Um, I haven't got bath bombs at the moment. But last time I went, I found loads of bath bombs. So... I'm hoping Pokemon. Pokemon I can do. In search of Pokemon. I'm already looking on the lookout for my little pony as well. And I've been told like the, the superhero stuff, so like the Spider-Man, the Superman, that kind of thing. The Pokemon I can add to my list. 
I was also told stationery. So there's a stationery in this one. Um, anyone want homewares? Not necessarily mugs and stuff. I'm going to make up some more of those hot chocolate um, fries things. I just like the hot chocolate with the chocolate and the marshmallow. i make some of them up. I might be for this one. I don't know. It might be for another one. My other half loves Dragon Ball Z. I think I've heard of Dragon Ball Z. Um, I've been told to look out for some man things. <clears throat> Anything you'd like to see in the swap pile? Was it the same kind of things again? Um, in this one, there's Builder Bears. I think this might be a 2000 ticket one again. Um, yeah, this might be a 2000 ticket one again. So, I've got Builder Bears. I've got some Doc McStuffin. I've got. Um, I've still got to draw the bigger prize for anyone who bought 100 tickets or more. Still got to do that. I still have parcels downstairs to post off from the last tromboler. I just thought as the, the prize is downstairs, I'm waiting for people to reply back to me or to pay, etc. Because they obviously don't get paid quite yet. So I just thought rather than sitting on my ass and doing nothing, I could make myself useful and start labelling up these tromboler prizes for the next one. I just thought it would give me something to do. I'd be kept I'll be keeping on top of things. Mm -hmm. yeah. What are you doing, baby girl? Beepo! Mummy's doing this, it saves her time when it comes to doing the next trombola because this is what takes the time. Yeah. Well, hopefully the curry should be here soon, babe. Mm -hmm. So. I've ordered, I've ordered a cookie meal. Of what? Fish fingers. What you might eat? There's fish fingers, fish cake, chicken nuggets, or chicken masala. She'll probably end up having a proper dom yeah. and do dip dips between me and you again. Oh, and libbies. Because yeah. she likes her dom doms. She does like her dom doms, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 You two are crazy. You two are actually crazy. <laughs> You're crazy. You're goo goo for coconuts. You're goo goo for coconuts. Huh? She's chucking him down the stairs again. That's not very nice, is it, Liv? Chucking him down the stairs for mummy to deal with later. Huh? 
Libby, are you crazy? Huh? <coughs> Somebody's got a nice new Land Rover. Really? Evoke Sports. Ooh. Very pus. Uh, one of our neighbours going up in the world then, babe. Mm -hmm. Unless it's somebody visiting. No. Yeah, it could be somebody. Just because it's got pushchair in the back doesn't mean it's, like, not somebody visiting. Are you saying we don't ever take a push chair of us when we go visiting? No. Or just let the poor kid wander everywhere? Yeah. She's a toddle top, but... Yeah. What have you all been doing today? Nearly on a thousand tickets already, guys. Crazy. What has everyone been doing today, though? She crazy. She crazy, Daddy. Don't I break the mirror? <laughs> And are you ready for Christmas already yet? Yeah? <laughs> One thousand tickets. Huh? I think I'm gonna go, guys. Is she going down now, is she? Go chase Nanu. Go get him. Get him, Lib. Get him. Run away. Nanu, run. She's coming for you. She's going to come and get you, boy. She's going to come and get you, boy. Run. Run with all the might you have in your little furry body. Going up, coming down, stay in, round the corner. You coming back up? She what? Oh, I don't want you up here, Stink. Stinky Lulapoos. I don't want you up here. Second book. What are you doing, Lula Poos? You gonna sort out your books? I think I'm going to go, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.